What's happening to you right now, Claudia? I'm having really bad controls. <laughs> I've been trying to quit. Dabby. So you're saying you're addicted to weed? Dabby. Dabby. They look at a lot of black tar coming out. That's from Dr. Pepper. Uh, I don't think I can do this. Hi, this is a second update from yesterday. Yesterday, I was able to go to the doctor. They gave me a shot on my butt. And then they gave me some pills for vomiting. Came home. The only thing that it fixed was my cramping. This sickness. What is it called, babe? Oh, we discovered it's CHS and because I've decided to quit dabbing, I used to dab every day, not too long ago, this was a couple days ago, and I started maybe a year ago, so it's been like a year, and I've been trying to get myself to stop, but I never really like go through with it, and this time... I am the reason I feel like I can right now is because my body is like showing me the repercussions for that and I just can't believe how I feel right now I've never felt this way in my life my stomach feels like it's eating itself I can't take anything down it just nothing holds inside my body I always I'm been I'm constantly throwing up maybe every 30 minutes it's the worst feeling in the world I really 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 want to feel better but i apparently this stuff lasts two to three days this is my second day honestly i just want to like i've already cried multiple times i already freaking the only thing that relieves me is hot showers but even that like already is starting to become like whatever i just want to feel better i feel so bad that i wanted to go throw myself in the ocean this morning and just not come out like that's how bad I feel like I don't want to do this anymore. Right now, I guess I want to cry, but I won't. I already prayed for myself to, that I am healthy. I am strong. I will get through this. My body can handle it. It's going to be okay. <laughs> it's going to be okay. Me love you a lot. Uh, mm. I, he wants to. <sighs> no more dabbing for us, Cook Monster. No more. No more choke attack. No more choke attacks. <laughs> no more relying on something. No more, okay? We're gonna be good. Independently good. Happy. Oh God. Oh, please help me and give me strength. Okay, so I just wanted to update. And whoever dabs out there constantly, I'm not telling you what to do, but one day you'll know what I'm talking about. It affects a certain group of people. I'm not affected. So if you do dab every day and Apparently, if you are have more fat, like, because this only happens to certain people that have a certain amount of fat in their body, I guess, because the fat, I guess, is the little home for whatever this, this stuff is. THC molecules harbor themselves in the fat cells. Somebody who has more fat content in their body than somebody else uh, is going to be more susceptible to this condition, right? Okay. All right. Well, it's happening to me. This has happened to me already a couple times. I didn't know this is what it was. And it wasn't this bad. And now I guess my body's really trying to show me, like, okay, you need to come off of this stuff because it's not for you. I hear you loud and clear. And I'm going to get off this stuff. So everyone, please root for me. You can do it, Gloria. I'm trying to let it go cold turkey. Like, no more. No more. Usually that's what I would retreat to to make myself feel better. But 
that just can't happen anymore. It's, not, it's just not worth it. Not for me, at least. <laughs> Too much dabbing. Oh, yeah. Hi. Hi. I started feeling sick, so I came back to my hot water. Oh, guess what? There's one other remedy that I found. And that's having a vibrator on your pussy all day. After coming three times, though, I just wanted to hop that.